In this video, I'd like to go into showing you how to create a custom waveform for the ECG simulator. Firstly, when you open up the folder that contains the project files, go ahead and open up the nano ECG PWM INO file. This, will, this should open up the Arduino editor. Here you'll see two different tabs. There's the nano ECG PWM source file, which is the main program file. And the next tab is a wave.h file. This wave.h file is where we're going to put our custom waveform. In this file, there are two separate variables. First is an array that will contain our waveform, and the other is the extern baseline. The waveform can be up to 64 values in length. All the values need to be between the numbers 0 and 255. You can use less than 64 values, just know that any value you don't enter is going to be replaced by whatever is in this extern baseline variable. So for example, if I just left this as it is, it would go up from zero to six, and then all the rest, all the remaining numbers in that array will be automatically set to the value of 30. There are a lot of different methods for creating a waveform. When I was initially designing the waveforms for the stock ECG simulator, I pretty much just eyeballed it. I created the waveforms in Excel and then ported them over into the program. So the values you see down here in this NSR fragment, those make up the QRS complex of a normal sinus rhythm. So for this example, I'm going to create a uh, small script that will generate a square wave. And from here, I'll just copy the values that have been generated and paste them over into the wave.h file. I'm going to overwrite everything that's in here and paste in the values. Now if I go back here, and I'll remove the first value, and there we go. So now I have the extern wave fragment set up with a square wave. Because I made the baseline of this wave 50, I'm going to also change this variable down here to 50. So any values that aren't entered in will be automatically replaced with 50. Now I'm going to save this file and I'm going to switch back over to the nano ECG PWM source file. Scrolling up to the top, you can see this header switch up here, which says define enable custom wave. Right now it's commented out. What we want to do is we want to remove the comment, which is just removing the two forward slashes. So now we've activated this header switch. And what that will do is it'll enable certain parts of the code, which will insert the custom waveform as the seventh case in the selection switches. So instead of it defaulting to VFib, it will default to our external waveform. So now I'm making sure that all the options for the Arduino are correct. I'm gonna go ahead and upload. Now right now I have the simulator hooked up to the ECG sensor board. So if, when I open up the ECG viewer, I can connect to the sensor board. And we can see here that the simulator is right now just doing a normal sinus rhythm. But since we replaced the VFib case with our own custom waveform, if we flip all the switches up, it now shows a sort of a square wave. The reason it's not a perfect square wave is due to the filtering on the uh, sensor board. Now to disable the custom wave, we just have to go back up to the first line and comment that out and then re-upload the sketch to the Arduino. And now you can see that it is returned back to VFib, which is the stock mode for case number seven.